Hey everybody, welcome back to How to Tie with your guide, Big Mess of the one and only Tucker CG Fly Shop. Here on my Norvice Legacy C Vice Fly Tying System, I have a rubber leg pheasant tail nymph variation on a Hannock 400 BL size 12 with a copper slotted tungsten bead. And this is a fly that I've been guiding with here the last month or so, and I wanted to shoot this one out there to you so you folks can take a look at it and see if you want to tie that for yourself feel free to make changes anywhere along the way and i'd love to see your variations of the pattern that you're tying so here I, as i mentioned before i'm using a hannock 400 bl size 12 12s 14s and 16s are going to be your dominant players on this anything down in that 18 may be just a smidge too small with the rubber legs that's where that little jigged um, pheasant tail variation that I did uh, recently was would be a real real good one to use now I am using red thread I use a lot of red thread so that's what I'm gonna go with I have put my red thread on and spun that thread back to the back of the hook shank and I'm going to grab about four strands of kind of an orange glow bright floss and I'm going to secure that there onto the top of the shank. So I'll make some loose wraps and get that to rotate over. And I'm going to make some wraps to get that to the very, very back. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take my Dr. Slick scissors. I want to come in here and I'm basically about even with where the bend of the hook is. So basically kind of right in this area in there. I don't know if you can see, but it's almost even. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just close. It's your fly. The fish don't really care. It's more us. Uh, but we but we do know that they do see these UV things, so that's why it's there. Um, if you want to know if you can see it or not, just take your UV torch. Boom. See how it glows? That's what we're looking for right there. Perfect. The next material, of course, is going to be pheasant tail. From this point forward, everything would be close to the same. So I'm going to grab us some pheasant tail fibers off of a nice pheasant tail feather and got those right there and i'm going to bring those over here roughly and we're going to i like to tie these in a smidge long so i can pull to adjust where they're at on the hook shank so i want to come in here and try to get that to roll on top like so make two wraps see that's way way long there big mess so i want to pull that in well i like how that looks right there rotate my vice that's pretty cool i can live with that that's rocking. Now, the next material we're going to use is going to be some copper wire, and I'm actually using small. But if you got brassy, use brassy. If you got extra small, use extra small. Heck, if you got red, use red. If you got purple, use purple. That's entirely up to you, okay? So I'm going to wrap that in like so, and I am going to rotate my fly tying system here, and I'm going to lay down a thread base to try to really level this up here a little bit. Okay? Perfect. Just like so, just like that. Whammo. Now, the next step is, pr is pretty basic, to be honest with you. We're just going to come in here and we're going to grab our pheasant tail fibers and we're just going to wrap them around the hook, just like you would a regular pheasant tail. I'm just going to rotate this up here. So, you folks that have static vices that can't do that, let me check out the Norvice. So, I'm going to bring my thread back over and grab it, capture. Perfect, just like so. Beautiful. I'm gonna come in here and capture this. Half hitch. Now we want to counter wrap our wire. Why? Well, number one, you can see it. <laughs> but it actually adds the, the function of the, of the wire is to add durability to the fly. As we know, uh, pheasant tail materials, uh, peacock materials are very fishy, but they're also very delicate. And as a way of reinforcing them, wire is a popular way of doing that so that's why you want to kind of counter rib that so you can secure that down and 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 uh, get a little bit more durability because we really want this this fly to to really be eaten quite a bit right i mean that's the whole point of tying it so i put a half hitch in there and this is really another step we're going to deviate it from from the original type pattern i'm not going to put a wing case on this I'm going to bring my thread over to my uh, bobbin cradle and I'm going to use some peacock dubbing. I love these little long fibers of this right here. It's got a little flash material in it as well. It's going to give us a nice, nice buggy look. 
and I'm going to spin this on to my thread just like so and I can control how how thick that gets by the way I let that go through my fingers I want to come over pull my thread off the cradle and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this up right here on my thorax and as you see I've got it 88 out the gate there for you Nick Schweitzer just like that brother now you see how buggy that is if you don't want it as buggy just snippy snippy give it a haircut it's that simple give it a haircut that's cool but I like mine buggy so I'm going to leave some of the bugginess to it all right since we've eliminated the wing case we're not going to have your traditional pheasant tail fibers tips going back on the sides this is where we're going to come in with some uh some of your favorite rubber leg material use what you have now i'm using brown uh here kind of this flexi floss which i use a lot on my idks and rubber leg patterns but use what you got but if you want to get exact i'm using flexi floss um that's entirely up up to you normally i don't cut it like that i just did so let me get this other piece just talking too much perfect so i'm just going to double this over i'm just going to tie it in like this i'm going to make a loose wrap kind of come in and capture it just like so a couple of wraps and i'm going to pull that down to the sides i want to put them on the sides as you can see somewhat on the sides like that i like how that is let me take my uh little trusty dusty handy hair clip oops that i got an escapee escapee there we go beautiful now i want to make some wraps now i want to take my whip finish tool i want to put in a series of whip finishes one two three just like that and i want to do it one more time one two three wham okay i'm gonna reach in there with my scissors snip it beautiful now i want to remove that i want to come up here i want to take this guy snip it and then this is where I will caution you. You can't add length back to your rubber, but you can also, but you can shorten it, okay? So if you feel like that's too long, cut it shorter. Remember, you cannot add length to it once it's cut. Once it's cut, it's cut. There's nothing you can do about it. So right there we go. We've almost got a completed nymph at this point in time. And what I'm going to do to finish this bad boy off is I'm going to take some solar res UV resin. And I really am impressed with this solar res the um, brush and the way this comes down to that micro tip is just so stinking amazing just get in there it's so so delicate precision 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 baby just like that there we go that's going to add a little bit more durability to this particular pattern feel free to use your favorite head cement i'm going to take the uv torch and i'm just going to rotate this guy here and let it spin baby spin spin in the wind Woo! look at that right there 88 out the gate like i said before i want to take a moment and thank everybody for watching the video if you've not subscribed to her channel and you're watching you got to this point please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button don't forget to have that little dinger bell because every time a video goes up you get alerted um and also uh, feel free to listen to our podcast, which is called the Tuck Cast with a Splash of Bourbon. It's on all the major podcasting platforms. If you have a question for me, all you got to do is send me an email. It's real simple. That's Shannon at TuckFlyShop.com. If you want to follow myself on social media, that's Appalachian underscore flies on Instagram. Uh, also, you can find Tuckasichi Fly Shop on Facebook and also an Instagram. And of course, you're on YouTube. Where else would we be? So there you go. There is another one of my guide nymphs that I uh, fish with. Hope you folks give it a try. And as always, Big Mess says, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next fly time video. Hey, y'all catch a few big fish out there and tell the story like it's bigger than it actually is. I won't tell. Y'all take care.